All 58 persons confirmed as COVID-19 uh, positive in the Upper West Region have been treated and discharged. The Upper West Regional Director of Health Services, Dr. Damien, said so far the region has no active coronavirus cases. Dr. Damien was addressing members of the reconstituted Upper West Regional Coordinating Council in WA. The Upper West Region recorded its index case of COVID-19, a disease caused by coronavirus, in March after a 42-year-old Ghanaian returned to the region from a surgeon in Egypt and some European countries. Since then, the region has recorded 57 other cases, some of whom were kept on self-isolation and others treated at the various holding centers in the region. Acting Upper West Regional Director of Health Services, Dr. Damien Pongiri, disclosed though the region recorded 58 positive cases of COVID-19, all of them have not been treated and discharged. This big breakdown of confirmed cases, you can see that one municipal has recorded the largest number of cases so far, followed by Cesala West, and then the Languissier, and then Tumu, and the rest. Let me say, as of today, this morning, uh, none of the cases is on treatment they have all been discharged because they have met the criteria for discharge and so uh, they have been discharged and no case is active as I speak to me. He cautioned that it is not time to jubilate yet as they are still waiting for the test results of over 1,000 samples sent for testing. I mean, we sent uh, over 4,000 samples to the public health reference laboratory um, I don't have the exact figures, but we received around uh, 2,000 plus. We still have about 1,000 uh, plus uh, awaiting uh, the results. So it is when those results come that at least we can tentatively say all the tests that we've conducted uh, and the screening that we have done, they are negative. Until that is done, uh, we're still holding on for, for those results to come. Dr. Damien then opened up on the challenges they face in the fight against the deadly disease. If we identify contacts, especially for those who cannot self-isolate or cannot quarantine at home, we have designated places that we're supposed to take them to. But when they get there, they have to be fed, everything provided for them. Whose responsibility is it? We have no money to do that. And because of that, there, is, there are limitations as to how long we can keep people in quarantine, especially when the results are not coming early enough to, uh, for us to make a decision. Upper West Regional Minister Dr. Hafiz Bin Sali on his part commended all those who supported the region by donating in various forms of personal protective equipment and cash to support the fight against the COVID-19 pandemic. We are not safe from the coronavirus pandemic yet, and so we are all expected to continue to observe the safety protocols as announced by His Excellency the President Nana Adedonko Akufo Addo. It is now mandatory for all of us at all public places to wear nose masks, as we have all done. Let us make it part of our daily routine to wear the mask and wash our hands under running water with soap regularly as the shortest way of containing the spread of the virus. Reporting for J News, Rafik Salam. Wah.